afternoon, it's Adil Fazal, here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for a midday market update uh, for the this morning's uh, trading. Uh, please be sure to visit TradeSignal, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly uh, download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so today is uh, Wednesday, the uh, 12th of April, uh, 2017. So let's uh, let's start and let's begin. In terms of Asian markets overnight, a risk aversion trade, given the fact that we have geopolitical tensions certainly increasing uh, with regards to uh, China and uh, with regards to Trump and North Korea on one front. And then we have uh, the Americans and um, Trump, obviously the Trump admin, versus the uh, situation with regards to Syria and Russia at present. At present right okay so basically you have uh, geopolitical concerns on two fronts okay so geopolitical concerns on two fronts so again markets obviously uh, going into a swoon based on that now uh, in terms I'm not going to go into comments yesterday but basically a summation really was risk aversion on the back of geopolitical tensions we have the Shanghai down 0.4 percent and down one percent okay in terms of today that's what's important today European markets certainly have taken it in stride uh, with the uh, FTSE certainly short squeezing up to uh, 7390 zone, 7400 on the back of potentially uh, understanding that uh, wage uh, earning, uh, ex earnings excluding bonus slightly coming better than expected. So average earnings slightly better than expected, although it was negated by the unemployment uh, a number in terms of claimant counts. The claimant count certainly increased by 25 K with number was supposed to be minus three, so certainly a mixed speech there. And Mr. Carney really didn't offer anything in terms of market reaction. So we certainly observe obviously a uh, uh, short squeeze higher on the FTSE, and that was also led by a uh, situation with regards to the Middle East tensions being diffused with regards to uh, Mr. Uh, Tillerson and Mr. Lavrov now potentially meeting, and also the Chinese Premier stating that, uh, and also the Trump admin as well, stating that they were going to uh, utilize or, or attempt to solve North Korean situation via dialogue, and again, that certainly diffused a change, and that certainly give the catalyst for the potential short squeeze. So the short squeeze catalyst, catalyst certainly was there, and we certainly moved higher. Uh, in terms of other economic data, nothing of any real major import. Uh, we obviously had the uh, situation, terrorist concerns in uh, Dortmund, the football club yesterday. So again, uh, European markets certainly uh, uh, on um, uh, on the edge. Uh, Chinese inflation did actually come in weaker out overnight. So again, just bear that in mind in terms of the Aussie and the Kiwi, although they have sold off quite substantially and certainly factored that in. Uh, protectionist concerns and political uncertainty by the IMF. So again, something that's been highlighted for the last six months, really. Uh, one can argue that uh, really that's been baked into a large extent. Uh, in terms of uh, the bullish argument, you have the uh, situation with regards to the Saudis and the Russians now potentially talking about an oil output cut. Again, that's bullish for commodities and therefore indexes will move higher. German GDP um, certainly raised, so again, that certainly is a positive argument as well. Okay, uh, Volkswagen sales, BMW sales certainly stronger. Uh, Tesla, Tesco sales growth today as well, so certainly the best in seven years, so that's certainly helping. And German wholesale inflation numbers came on the downside, and therefore that should keep the, uh, the the ECB quiet for now in terms of tapering and hawkish comments. So again, all those factors certainly arguing for a potential reversal, especially due to geopolitic politics certainly uh, on the way now, certainly being neutralised to a large extent. So let's bring up the actual uh, European indices now. The this is the wrong uh, one that I've opened, so bear with me quickly. I'll get that open for you. We'll look at European indices. We'll start off with the German DAX first. Let's see exactly where that's trading. Uh, and let's see how that's uh, faring at present. Okay. So let's go to the uh, daily chart first and foremost on the German DAX. Just bear with me one second, folks. Okay. So again, you've got a bottoming tail there. We didn't actually close a gap, which was at 12, uh, 11, 990. We failed to close that gap, but certainly a bottoming tail, certainly put in nevertheless. If we use a fib retracement tool from here, to here, you certainly have held the FIB 61%. We've still got the unfilled gap open, so we really do need a, a positive catalyst for that. I can't really see one at present. Okay, I can't see one at present. So let's just see how the market reacts, and let's see let's see how how we uh, how the price action unfolds. 60 minute chart on the uh, German DAX. Hey, let me just clean this up for you. Certainly looks very messy at the moment. Okay, so again, that's really previous resistance equals support. Certainly held. Horizontal support here held as well, which was like clockwork. We failed to close the gap. We've certainly pushed higher now. From my understanding and my interpretation here, it certainly seems like we're carving out some sort of inverted head and shoulders formation. So I would certainly be very careful with regards to any bearish or bracing any bearish arguments at present. 
Okay, I'd say a lot of the R bearish arguments certainly have been priced in. So again, in a, in a reversal, inverted head and shoulders reversal certainly expected here on the German DAX, uh, looking to potentially move higher up to uh, 12 to 90. Okay, right shoulders going in here now at 50-50%, so really a bullish continuation pattern, if anything else. Okay, so again, German DAX certainly is in support. 10-minute chart, you can see that we've closed the gap now. So we just clean this up again for you. A lot of trend lines that I've been messing around with. Okay, so again, gap fill really, that's the only thing that you really need to know for now. Uh, looking to bounce here at gap fill now. If you just connect the pivot lows together, you have this uh, falling, contracting type wedge pattern. So again, we're into gap fill here. Gap fill support, okay, and therefore you are looking to potentially bounce. Any bounce that we experienced really, I'd say it was capped around 12,200 max on the upside. I mean, you certainly have it capped at 12,170 on the upside as well. So just bear that in mind. That's something certainly to uh, take into uh, consideration, folks. Okay, so German DAX certainly looking to pop here. If German DAX pops and obviously it'll take the rest with it. And again, global tensions being diffused. Uh, the French CAC as well, closing that gap, as you can see here, folks. French CAC closing gap. Okay, so again, looking for support. For C100, uh, you've got topping tail in twice today, or yesterday, sorry, as well, and today. So FTSE looking very top heavy there when it gets to the right shoulder, so bear that in mind. 60 minute chart, we've certainly rejected 7400 quite powerfully. So 7400 is your real wall of resistance, so watch out for that wall of resistance certainly holding. Okay, in terms of FTSE, a 60 minute chart, there's a lot of activity here around the 7350 zone. Uh, multiple areas and zones of support, so therefore looking for a bounce here as well. Okay, so I think that really is a good summation of um, the European indices. Uh, last but not least, let's just quickly bring up Euro stocks now, just because I'm long, uh, I'd say let's go for this. Okay, so again, you are looking at uh, a Euro stocks into cap fill support, so hence the reason why I'm long and looking for a potential pop here. Okay, uh, again, same concepts connect, connecting the pivot lows, pivot high, sorry, together. You're looking for a breakout here again. If we do pop, then you are looking for a pop up to uh, 3485, and then I'll reassess from there. Okay, so I think that's a good summation, really. Uh, overnight, obviously, geopolitical tensions, the US market sold off, Asian markets down, and this morning, it certainly seems, from my perspective, and my reading of the markets, that we are getting a U turn now. Okay, stronger average earnings, certainly helping the FTSE. Okay, um, just stronger German GDP forecast going forward, helping the FTSE as well. Okay, you've got Euro still at 1.06, which is languishing. So again, into potential, uh, so certainly uh, an argument for it for move lower. Wholesale, German wholesale inflation coming in weaker, therefore it, tape, it basically tapers the tantrum, or tapers the taper to, to a large extent, keeps the uh, ECB uh, hawks at bay, and therefore it's good for European equities. Okay, on that note, please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs, and certainly take advantage of the bonus. Goodbye now.